Hi, I am Smoking Moses, and today I'm here to enjoy with you another great cigar, Brickhouse Double Connecticut Short Torpedo from JC Newman. Stay with me. You know, as I always say, thousands of times, I love histories. I love uh, uh, small details of the history of the brands. And this cigar here, I always loved the story behind this cigar. Because Brick Cows, okay, this name is in the market, this cigar is in the market since 1937. Uh, Julio Cesar Newman introduced it in that, in that year. But why? the name Brickhouse. Brickhouse was a, a, the house made of bricks that was his house when he lived in the Austria-Hungarian Empire. You know that Julio Caesar arrived in the United States and then he started his new life, the American dream in the United States. But in 1937, he introduced this cigar in the market with this name, to celebrate his hometown, his own house in his village in the Austrian Empire. And that house was not only a house, it was the only brick house of the town. It was the place where people meet in the evening, to gather people, to smoke together, to drink together, to enjoy the rest of the day after the daily work. So that was the central point, the central activity, the central meeting point of the town. And he wanted to celebrate that heritage, that legacy, and for me this is amazing. When you celebrate your past, your glorious past in your village when you were a child. Great. This story is really amazing. Of course, the cigar in 1937, when it was introduced in the market, was different because it was made with Cuban tobacco, as a lot of cigars in that period. Of course, produced in the United States, but with Cuban tobacco. Now it's no more produced in Cuba with Cuban tobacco, it's uh, mainly a Nicaraguan cigar. Brickhouse exists in, uh, uh, let's say, three different wrappers. The classic one, with Ecuador Havana seed, a Maduro one, with Brazil Arapiraca Maduro wrapper, very spicy, peppery, very nice. And then this one, this is the double Connecticut. What does it mean, double Connecticut? Well. Wrapper and binder are both uh, Connecticut. Wrapper is the classic shade, and binder is the broadleaf that gives a little bit more spice to the cigar. The filler is Nicaragua, and it is produced in uh, Nicaragua, Esteli, in the JC Newman factory, Pensa. So, uh, let's start cutting the cigar, lighting the cigar, and enjoying it together. Uh, this is the short uh, torpedo. Um, of course, it exists in several other shapes. Uh, Robusto, Churchill, um, Toro, Corona. But I love this shape because, um, especially with this um, cigar, this shape helps uh, finding uh, more, even more complexity. At least for me, my personal taste. So I, I um, sorry, I was quick, but I did a, a straight cut. It makes, for me, it makes no sense to, 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 to do a V cut in a pyramid. Uh, I prefer the straight cut because if you want during the smoke, you can cut again and enlarge the diameter of, 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 of the hole uh, so to increase the, the, the volume of the smoke that you have in your mouth. But you can do it later during the smoke. Don't forget the cold draw, because even with this cigar, the cold draw is very interesting. Hmm? Fresh herbs, high uh, grass, wet grass, and sweet. Some far sweetness, some, uh, let's say, floral notes from far away. So let's light the cigar and say what happened. Well, since the very first puff, 
Um, you can understand that this cigar is not a super strong cigar. This is a mild, uh, at least now, a mild cigar. And uh, it's quite um, uh, full of woody notes, cedar woody notes, light wood, and um, some uh, beautiful light pepper notes. Uh, they are light in the mouth. When you retrohale, they are a little bit more intense, as usual. Um, very elegant, very smooth, balanced, and leaves your mouth fresh and full of, uh, let's say, sweet notes, like far honey. Another reason I always forget to mention why this cigar is interesting, and I suggest you to try it if you've never tried it, is the compromise between quality and price. This cigar won uh, for, I don't know man, how, how many times, for Cigar Aficionado, the price as the best bargain cigar of the year. So it means that the quality that you reach, the quality that you find in this smoke is very high compared to the price that you pay. So it, this is not, of course, the main reason to smoke a cigar, but it's nice to have a wonderful cigar with the, in a reasonable, reasonable price. So try it if you, if you never tried it. This is a, a good suggestion for you to do it. So, let's go on with the smoke, uh, I will reach you after the first third. So, here we are, we just entered in the second third. As you can see, the ash is beautiful, white, great color. Combustion is absolutely perfect, razor sharp, slow, great. This cigar has a nice complexity. Uh, there are those uh, cedar notes that I found in the beginning are confirmed, of course. Now there are also toasted notes. The sweetness, the sweetness is still there, of course. Um, it was floral in the beginning. Now it is more intense, more like let's say dry fruits, uh, honey, um, bread notes, uh, sweet bread, like cookies. When you burn a little bit too much a cookie, well, this is more or less the taste that I have in this moment in my mouth. And the pepper increase, when you retrohale, you feel that there is an increase in the pepper. It's a very interesting cigar, a little bit spicy, very nice, elegant. And by the way, it's mild, it's very mild. And it, for me, it's an interesting characteristic because it's suitable for everyone. If you are an experienced smoker, you can enjoy this cigar absolutely in the morning with a coffee. Or if you are a, let's say, new smoker, you can find a lot of satisfaction if you smoke it maybe after uh, dinner. So it's a great cigar. I always look for a cigar that I can smoke in the morning. It's not easy to find a nice, complex, rich cigar, but very mild, that you can smoke in the morning with a coffee. This is, for example, one of those uh, cigars. It's a, it's a great cigar for the morning, for me, that I smoke. Maybe too much, but really, <laughs> try it, really. Great cigar. See you for the last third. Unfortunately, we arrive at the end, more or less, of the smoke. We are in the middle of the last third. You see the ash? Beautiful. Combustion, perfect. Uh, the cigar increased uh, its complexity. Now there is also a wonderful uh, toasted uh, coffee notes in my mouth. Still a lot of sweet notes, bread, toasted notes. Uh, pepper in the lips, in the mouth, through the notes when you retrohale. Uh, body and power increase a little bit. So it's even more interesting than before. A great smoke, uh, morning smoke for an experienced smoker or even a dinner after dinner smoke for everyone. Really a great cigar. So thank you for being here with me, enjoying this cigar. Thank you for watching this video. Have a wonderful new year to all of you and uh, see you soon. Bye. 
from Smoking Moses. Ciao.